Good morning everybody, my name is Alexa. I am a friend of St. Eugene from Tower Hill in London. I'm here to serve you with our prayer reflections this morning. Who here is counting the days till Christmas? I know I sure am. And I'm looking forward to having some downtime from work and just have the much needed rest and time to spend with our loved ones. And like any seasons in life, there is a time and place for everything. Christmas is my favorite time of the year, and I'm sure it's for many of us too. Even though we still have this great uncertainty looming ahead of us with COVID vaccinations coming into play, we cling to that hope and that promise of better days ahead. Let us first begin our time together with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Lamb of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Our prayer today is from a song called Here I Am to Worship. I'm sure you know some of this and that I hope you go sing this with me. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Opened my eyes, let me see Beauty that made this heart adore you Hope of a life spent with you Here I am to worship here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. So on a third Sunday of Advent, we follow the story of John the Baptist, who baptizes with water, but calls on Jesus as the one who baptizes with the Spirit. And today's reading continues on with his story. Luke chapter 17 and chapter 7, verses 18 to 23. John's disciples told him about all these things calling two of them. He sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we expect someone else? When the men came to Jesus, they said, John the Baptist sent us to ask you, Are you the one who is to come, or should we expect someone else? At that very time, Jesus cured many who had diseases, sicknesses, and evil spirits and gave sight to many who were blind. So he replied to the messengers, Go back and report to John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, and those who have leprosy are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Blessed is anyone who does not stumble on account of me. Friends, I'm sure that you will agree that we have all been here. Doubt creeps in with uncertainty. John, like the rest of us, also experienced the same thing, as this story reflects that. John reaches out to Jesus to find out if he truly is the Messiah. He wanted a public affirmation from Jesus to confirm this just like everyone else. But as we all know, God's definition of a Messiah is entirely different from us. In this scripture, I believe that trust here is the key message. And taken from Father Ronald Rollheiser's article, Struggle to Trust, here are some excerpts I'm sharing. Most of the time, we find it hard to trust because we find ourselves wounded, lacking in confidence, anxious about many things, and feeling the need to protect ourselves. It's hard to trust 
and especially hard to show weakness and to be vulnerable. Distrust and self-protection are everywhere. It is hard to let ourselves be vulnerable and to trust that it is safe to love. And yet deep down, vulnerability and surrender are what we most deeply want. Morally and religiously, the entire Gospels can be put into one word, surrender. And deeper than all of our anxieties and our need to protect ourselves lies a truth we know at the core of our being, namely, that in the end we cannot take care of ourselves. We cannot make ourselves whole and we cannot hide our weaknesses from each other. We need to surrender, to trust, to let ourselves fall into stronger and safer hands than our own. How can we get there? How do we pull the trigger on trust? Very big but important questions. If John the Baptist struggled this, then it is absolutely normal for us to also feel the same. For trust is a journey that takes a lifetime, and to master this is to be a saint. Together, let us now close this session with a prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, we praise you, we thank you, we glorify you, we honor you, we love you, and we adore you. In such challenging times, we know we can always rely on you for unfailing help and courage. In this morning's reflection, help us appreciate the immensity of your love through your Son, Jesus Christ. Bless us with the peace of your divine heart and the wisdom of your spirit to trust you through and through, even when it's hard to understand. We ask this in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, friends, once again for joining us, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed week ahead.